Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence with a quick Wix tutorial. You can add Google Analytics to your Wix website by first adding it to a Google Tag Manager container. You can watch my other video on integrating Google Tag Manager to your Wix website first if you haven't done that. And you'll also need a Google Analytics account for this process. So if those two things are already done, we're gonna need to create some custom parameters in Google Tag Manager in order to send your traffic data to your Google Analytics account from your Wix website. So I'm logged into my Google Tag Manager account. This account here, this container, is already added to my Wix website, which I showed you in a previous video. So I'm gonna click on that container. The next step is going to be to click Triggers on the left-hand side. Then I'm gonna click New to begin creating a new trigger. Click Choose a Trigger Type to begin setup. And on the right hand side, I'm going to select custom event. I'm going to call this event name page view. Click save. And I also need to give the event a name. So I could call that Wix page views, for example. And then click save to save the trigger. The next step is creating a variable. So I'm going to click variables. And then under user defined variables, I'm going to click new. Click here to choose a variable type. And the type we're going to use is data layer variable. The data layer variable name will be URL. I'm going to click save. And then I also need to rename the variable, so I'll give it a name, and then click Save. So now we have our variable saved here. And before you close out of that last screen, you might want to copy your variable name because we're going to use it in the next step. So I'm going to copy that. The next step is going to be setting up the Google Analytics tag. So to do that, we're going to click on Tags on the left-hand side, click New. And we're going to click this area here to choose a tag type. And the tag type is going to be Google Analytics, Universal Analytics. So if we click that, you're going to want to click this checkbox here that says Enable Overriding Settings in this tag. And then you're going to need to enter your Google Analytics ID. So for that, you're going to have to go into your Analytics account. And if you go under Admin, Settings, and then Tracking Info, and click on Tracking Code, you should find your tracking ID. You may find it other places too, but that's uh, the main place to find it. So I'm gonna copy that, go back to the Google Tag Manager setup we were doing, paste in that tracking ID. Then we need to click on More Settings, and then open Fields to Set, click Add Field, enter Page as the field name, and I don't have that variable copied anymore, but I should be able to click this button here to look it up, choose a variable, and yeah, here it is at the top, the Wix var page URL, the data layer variable we just created. So I'm going to click that. It should put it into the box in uh, curly brackets, and I'm going to click Save. And it reminded me I need to add a trigger, so I'm going to go ahead and click Add Trigger. And we want to choose that custom event we created for Wix page views. Click Save. It's going to suggest a name, so go ahead and leave that. We could name it whatever you want. Now we have a tag saved that has a trigger, and we're using a variable for the URL. Now, since I've made a bunch of changes to my Google Tag Manager container, it says container not published. I need to click Submit and then Publish and Create a Version. I'm going to go ahead and click Publish, top right. I'm just going to call this initial. So the first time I'm publishing this tag, this container. So now I have a live version that's published and it should, uh, these tags should be active now on my Wix website. So one way to check to make sure these changes are published is to go to uh, your Wix website in the Chrome browser and then use the Google Tag Assistant extension. So you'll need to install that in Google Chrome. Once it's installed, you can click on the icon and uh, I can confirm that the Google Tag Manager container is active on the site, and then Google Analytics is also active on the sites. So the recent changes we published uh, are working. 
basically this is a way to add Google Analytics to your Google Tag Manager, which is already added to your Wix site if you follow the directions in my earlier video. I'll link to that video if you need help adding Google Tag Manager to your Wix site.